In this video, we want to look at the effect of connecting solar PV panels in series and parallel. Now, before you can connect solar panels together, observe the following. Number one, ensure that they are of equal rating, preferably from the same manufacturer. If not, the total output would be determined by this, that of the smallest rating. Number two, ensure that all panels are exposed to sunlight at the same angle to the sun. Let's now look at power output in a series connection. A number of times you'll find yourself in a situation requiring you to connect solar panels together. Uh, that is when you need more wattage or when you need more voltage. A series connection gives out a higher voltage. In this case, we see four panels connected together and these four panels are of equal rating from the same manufacturer. So the total voltage in this case is the sum of individual voltages of each of the panels. Also the total wattage is 100 watts times 4 or each of them contributing 100 watts to give us 400 watts. That is scenario when all the panels are of the same make, preferably from the same manufacturer and are put in the same orientation. In a parallel connection, the situation is a bit different so that the panels give out more current rather than voltage. What happens is that if each of each is contributing 8.3 amps, these 8.3 amps will go and join here and the total amperage will be the individual amperage of each panel times 4. That is of course because they are 4. Otherwise, the individual amperage becomes the amperage of one unit or one panel times the number of panels you have in a parallel connection. The aim of connecting panels in parallel should be to get a higher current. Now, there are certain cases which are unique. Let us look at a series connection where PV panels with the same current are connected in series. Now, you see here, the current of each of these panels are the same. However, one of these panels is 80 watts, the rest are 100 watts. What happens in this case is that the total wattage will be that of the smallest member in the series. This is true as long as their current are the same. That is what we've said, that if the current is the same, then the mathematics that we're going to have, the total wattage will be four times. This small one will dictate the current of the entire connection. Case two, let's look at the different panels in series. So in this case, they are different sizes with different ratings. And what happens? Uh, what we see now, the voltage is additive. We have 6 volts, 12 volts, and 10 volts, which gives us 28 volts. Total current is that of the lowest member. So you see here, the lowest member is this one. So that is the current that will pass in the system. It will override the 7 and 6 amps. So the power of this system is the total voltage times the power the times the amperage of the smallest member. So that gives us 112 watts. Case 3 is still in series connection. We have panels of different wattage in series and this one what we're saying here is this one is uh, 6 volts. Note that the amperage is the same for all of them but the, the first one is 6 volts, this one is 12 volts, the middle one and the last one to the right is 8 volts. In this case, current is same in all the members, which we have said all of them are having 5 amps. So the total voltage becomes the sum of the individual voltage of each of the panels. And since current is the same, so we multiply the 5 amps times the total voltage to give us 130 watts. Those are the three unique cases in series connection. Let us look at the cases in parallel connection. So here, the total power is the sum of individual panels power as long as their voltage are the same. We see four panels here. One is 80 watts, but the others are 100 watts each. But see that the voltage of each is the same, 12, 12 volts. What we have here is the total wattage becomes equal to the sum of individual wattage of each of the panels. 
so that we have 380 watts. If we move to the second case, we have different panels connected in parallel. And here we have 6 volts, 4 amps. The middle one is different at 12 volts, 8 amps. The last one is 10 volts, uh, 7 amps. Now, what do we know here? Uh, in a mixed array, the total voltage is 6 volts because they are in parallel and it is that of the lowest rated panel. So like in this case, we see this is 6 volts, this one is 12, this is 10. So the lowest member is this one, and that becomes the voltage. It will dictate the voltage in that parallel connection. The total current though is the sum of the individual currents passing through or being generated by each panel. And that is the sum of the individual panels, which is 19 amps. So the total power becomes the sum of the current and the system voltage, which gives us 114 watts. However, what we know is that in a mixed array, every panel has a different optimal solar power tracking point. Different solar panels reduce the effectiveness of an MPPT controller to track this optimal power. So that is what we should observe, that if you have these different panels, the thing to keep in mind is that your different panels will be affecting the maximum power tracking point so that you will not be getting the best output of those panels and that is why you should always ensure that when you are doing a pv system the panels are from the same manufacturer and are of the same rating mixing them of course will give us the kind of different scenarios that we've seen above for some reason it can happen that you have this kind of setup in which we are seeing a series and a parallel system put together then finally connected to a panel in series. This kind of uh, circuit should be discouraged and for the obvious reasons that we're going to discuss uh, next. If you look at this circuit we have two panels in series and the voltage and the voltage coming out of this system is going to be the sum of these two which is 15 however the current is going to be determined by the lowest member which is 4 amps now if we look at that that means that the voltage here is 15 and that 15 now is in parallel with 12 and in parallel with 10 implying that the total voltage across the circuit this point is going to be from the lowest member again which is 10. If you look further there's a condition for having this particular panel here. The reason being that you must know what is the protection fuse rating of that this particular panel that is going to be here. Otherwise if you have it that the current which is coming out from this system which is right now four then we have eight then we have seven giving us a total of 19. it is required that this particular panel the internal fuse rating should be more than 19. otherwise this panel is going to be destroyed and that's why we are saying that this kind of scenario should be discouraged that if you're going to connect uh, panels like this do not try it if you do not know the internal ratings of this particular panel the only other way you can connect it if if it has a higher rating than the current which is coming from this system here passing through it and then getting out to where you want to take it thank you very much for having had time to watch this video we are very grateful for your time and we ask you to subscribe to this channel keep it here for more videos like this where we discuss different issues in pv circuits until next time bye bye